the sheltered waters of Moreton Bay are characterised by mangrove forests. These mangrove forests are dominated by one species, the grey mangrove. They are known as pioneer species and are likely to be the first species to grow on newly emerged mud banks or man-made drains. The forests and creeks provide important nursery sites for juvenile fish and prawns. The often turbid water and structure associated with the plants themselves provide hiding places and feeding areas for the juvenile fish and of course the ever-present toadfish. The sediments associated with mangroves also provide habitat for bacteria, benthic microalgae, macroalgae and fungi. At low tide, the juvenile fish and prawns retreat to the creeks and drains associated with the mangrove forest. This can provide feeding opportunities for larger fish and other predators including these black cormorants. These little black cormorants are common in Moreton Bay and can often be seen working in flocks, feeding on fish caught underwater. Often other birds like the egret will follow these flocks to take advantage of the mayhem caused by these feeding frenzies. This strategy works well for the egret. Might as well follow the flock wait for the next opportunity. Crabs form the dominant faunal species within the mangrove forest and grapsid and ochopodid crabs make up more than 80% of the mangrove crab species. Apart from the mangrove plants themselves, these crabs could be used as indicators of the health of the mangrove system. This crab is known as a mud crab and inhabits the banks of the mangrove lined creeks and is a key component of the Moreton Bay fishery. Well adapted to the mangrove environment, it is a predator and with its powerful claws feeds mainly on gastropods, mollusks and finds even hermit crabs part of the menu. Mangrove ecosystems are important areas for the production of fish and crustacean species. The forests themselves stabilise the estuary shoreline and are a driver of the biodiversity associated with Moreton Bay.